This is Callum Johnson and you're watching Sporting Icons. So it's just been confirmed that Vasil Lomachenko will take on Luke Campbell for the vacant WBC 135 title that Mikey Garcia, of course, recently vacated. In addition to the WBA and WBO that Vasil Lomachenko already has. So it's a unification, much like they did with uh, Klitschko and Anthony Joshua for the vacant WBA. Similar kind of situation. Now, I know that a lot of people will go, Eddie Hearn, why are you throwing Luke Campbell under the bus? This is no good. It's Vasil Lomachenko much like he did with Anthony Crawler. I know people are going to be saying that. First of all, Anthony Crawler, he was mandatory. He had no choice but to take that fight. Luke Campbell, in my opinion, is a grade or two above Anthony Crawler. That's not taking anything away from Anthony Crawler. I think Anthony Crawler is an absolute warrior and has done British boxing some great, great nights. He really has. Now, Luke Campbell, he's not going to be the favourite in this fight, that's for sure, but he's going to cause more problems for Vasil Lomachenko than what a lot of people think. Luke Campbell is an exceptional, exceptional fighter. Former Olympian gold medalist versus former Olympic gold medalist in Vasil Lomachenko. So both these guys have exceptional amateur experience. And Luke Campbell, he does have two losses on his record. First one was early on in his career against Yvonne Mendy. He has, of course, since rectified that loss against him by defeating Yvonne Mendy. So he scrubbed that one off. The other one is Jorge Linares. In a fight that I felt that he won that one, but... Listen, the fight didn't start off too great, did it? But either way, um, in my opinion, I think that a lot of people are going to say, but Luke Campbell lost to Jorge Linares, Vasil Lomachenko defeated Jorge Linares. Yes, but Jorge Linares did drop Vasil Lomachenko in that fight as well. But listen, just because you can beat one person don't mean you beat the other one. Styles make fights. You've heard that old saying before numerous times. I'm sure you're all sick of hearing it and anything can happen. I'm sure you're sick of hearing that too. I am as well. But this is a, it's an interesting fight. And if you look at the 135 pound division, Luke Campbell is up there with the best of them. He is a legitimate contender for this one. And the fight, by the looks of it, will be in the UK as well. So a little bit of an advantage to Luke Campbell. Can they get it in Hull? Probably not. But either way, I'm sure they'll try and do something. Maybe Manchester or the O2. Who knows? But either way, it'd be good to see Vasil Lomachenko here in the UK. And of course, have the British fans on the side of Luke Campbell. For me, I'm a massive um, Lomachenko fan. Um, in my opinion, he's top three, pound for pound. Could be number one, number two, number three. Don't really care, to be honest. Between him, Canelo and Crawford. Um, I don't buy too much into pound for pound. But if it really did exist, Lomachenko would be up there, wouldn't he? Um, but... Lomachenko is going to be the favourite, that is for sure. But I think that Luke Campbell is going to give a lot more than what people think is going to happen. I think Lomachenko may struggle for a little bit in this fight. I'm not saying he's not going to win. In fact, Lomachenko is going to be the favourite. We can't hide behind that. Lomachenko is a freak of nature, nicknamed the Matrix, for very good reason. Um, but either way, I'm okay with this fight. Eddie Hearn, as I said, um, is not too happy with this situation obviously he wanted Luke Campbell versus new signing in Devin Haney and then maybe the winner goes on maybe try try to grab the IVF belt and then go for undisputed against uh, Vasil Lomachenko either which way you do it you're gonna have to face Vasil Lomachenko at some point it, it's a little disappointing that Mike Garcia vacated that belt rather than take on Lomachenko himself I've got this feeling that Mike Garcia just didn't fancy that work to be honest, and again, I'm a massive Mike Garcia fan, but he did make a mistake moving up two weight divisions to take on Errol Spence Jr. But it is what it is. So this is the news that Luke Campbell will be taking on Vasil Lomachenko. We're still waiting for a date and a venue, but it will be for the vacant WBC title plus the WBO and the WBA. In my opinion, Luke Campbell has as good a shot as any, if anybody has a a shot against Vasil Lomachenko is going to be someone like a Luke Campbell. Anyway, you drop your thoughts below about it, click thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.